time for the main event. Budweiser, the King of Beers, presents USA's Tuesday Night Fights in a 12-round heavyweight matchup. Hasim Rockman, ranked number three in the world, takes on the challenge of Steve Pennell. Hard punching Hasim Rockman has rocked his way up the heavyweight ladder with 22 crunching knockouts in 27 straight wins. The Rock is actually perturbed by those five fights that went the distance. Boxing a little too much, missing KO opportunities. He says no more, Mr. Nice Guy. I'm never going to just box anybody ever again. There's going to be a time where I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to knock them out. And every fight, I believe, is a point where you can knock somebody out. And, and every fight you see me in from here on out, you're going to see me take that chance. Not good news for Steve Pinnell, who comes in as a heavy underdog to face the red-hot Rockman. Pinnell, though, not psyched out by Rockman's attack. I've been sparring with Oliver McCall for four years, and that's who he reminds me of, you know, in the ring. He, you know, he's got a good heart and he calm, and Oliver does the same thing, so it's like I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I'm prepared for that type of uh, staff. Pinnell comes in with big numbers, 33 and three record, 27 knockouts, although this amassed on the Tennessee circuit, lonely regarded until recently when Tennessee grad Antoine Echols knocked out Brian Barbosa, becoming the world's number two middleweight. And when Ken Bowman, working the Nashville Network, backed up his 27 and 0 record, upsetting world title challenger Murky Sosa. Rockman not only comes in with 27 wins and 22 knockouts, but he does have the proper attitude for a heavyweight warrior. Yeah, and he is going to be extremely difficult to beat right now. He is on a string. He is pumped. He is psyched. He's excited. And he knows now what it takes to be in that top ten of the heavyweight division. And Steve he Pinnell does not. And he also knows not to let a fight yeah. go into the hands of the judges, uh, although it was his stablemate who benefited uh, from that in the first fight. Asim Rockman is so close he's only 25 and he's number three in the world Steve Pinnell at the age of 29 he's been living and fighting out of Nashville the last year and uh, has really been on a Tennessee diet he's won 16 in a row but uh, against the likes of fighters with records like believe it or not seven and fifty nine four and twenty five four and thirty three and then there was Tim St. Clair at eleven and twenty only nine under the five hundred bar but as you heard uh, from Pinnell he's been working there with Greg Page who's been teaching him angles he's been working for four years as a sparring partner for Oliver McCall and he feels that's an education enough to step in with a number three heavyweight in the world well we've not seen that in the past and his three losses those were the only only three times that he fought any kind of opposition. And he was uh, knocked out in all three. So major assignment for Steve Pinnell who tries to make it a hat trick for the Tennessee guys in the last couple of months here on the Tuesday night fights. From the Lake Charles Civic Center in Lake Charles, Louisiana, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with the Players Island Casino, Matchmakers Bill Benton and Eric Botcher, and Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, this Bud's for you, presents the USA main event of the evening, 12 rounds for the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Ring officials assigned by the International Boxing Federation, President Robert W. Lee, supervisor in attendance, Daryl Peoples. Your judges at ringside, all from the great state of Louisiana, from Cutoff, Barry Orgeron, from Folsom, Paul Sita, and from Franklin, Kenny Santez. Your referee for this event from Metri, Louisiana, Johnny Femia Jr. Here now are the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the white trunks, gold trim. He weighs in at 222 pounds with a professional record of 33 victories, three defeats, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. 
from Roanoke, Virginia. He is the number one rated intercontinental heavyweight by the IBF. And the challenger, here is Steve the Storm Anel. Anel. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks, weighing 234 and a half pounds, with a professional record that reads 27 victories, no defeats, and 22 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the great city of Baltimore, Maryland, the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Hasim the Rock Rockman. Rockman, 12 rounds for the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Over here, Rock. Gentlemen, you were given your pre-fight instructions in the dressing room. Again, I remind you, obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. This is a legal blow here. Your trunk's a little bit high. Any questions from the red corner? Any questions from the blue corner? Let's box. Hey, yo. Rockman, real student of the game, studies other fighters, also studies himself. tapes of his fights and has really we have seen him grow up on USA you remember as a young fighter he used to just charge out try to overwhelm his opponents now works behind the jab and coming right at Rockman is Steve Pinnell yeah, he has a lot to prove he has heard the critics Steve Pinnell has a lot to show in this fight he says I can box but I can also sit down on my punches and I use angles in the ring Pretty much angle about that. He angled right toward Hasim Rockman, showing that he's not afraid of Rock. You know, you talked about the three times Pinella stepped up and lost and knocked out. He's actually knocked down eight times in those three fights against Ernest Mateen, Denmark's unbeaten uh, Michael Lindblad, and also against John Ruiz. That was his last loss back in October of 95. But tonight, Pinnell explaining that says that. In those three losses, he was he's a tweener. He was too big then to be a cruiserweight, not big enough to be a legitimate heavyweight, and was kind of caught in the middle and really had to let uh, nature take its course and grow into the heavyweight body, which he has done now at 222. He was kind of stuck around 200 pounds, and uh, he kind of feels that that may have been a contributing factor and that the, now he is ready. So 16 in a row. And we've talked about the Tennessee twosome of uh, Ken Bowman who knocked off Murphy Sosa. Antoine Echols knocked off Brian Barbosa. Zoomed to number two in the world in the middleweight division. And now trying to turn that Tennessee twosome now into the Tennessee trio. Guys coming out. And uh, backing up their big records. Pinnell 33 and 3 coming into this fight. And he comes in under the tutelage now of Greg Page, former heavyweight champion of the world, a master technician, and teaching Pinnell the angles, how to take Rock's power away from him, how to move and get out of the way of the power of Rockman that has unleashed 22 knockouts in his 27 fights. Oh, good right hand from Pinnell. Pinnell coming from the Midwest, and also I came from the Midwest, and I tell you, to get the critics off your back, you have to get in and perform. The only times he's moved up in class, good left hook from Rockman. He has failed, and the critics look at that, and they say, well, he's a Midwest fighter. He can't perform in the big time. Well, he's certainly taking the major step here tonight yeah. and stepping in and looking to trade with Rockman. Definitely is, but he feels like he is up for the, the task. He's been sparring with Oliver McCall. Good right hand, both fights. You cannot be saved by the bell, which should uh, not be a situation here. The count is on. Just got to survive to the bell several seconds. May not even have to take another punch. And Rockman will wait it out into the corner. So Steve Pinnell, you give him credit, chose to come in here and slug it out with Rockman. Give him credit on one end, but I'm sure Greg Page is not happy in the other. 
Rockman with the Tommy Brooks in his corner is very patient, right. taking some shots from the, the the in that okay. fight, we'll from the prohibitive underdog in that first fight. But as we stuff, had right. talked about Rockman right, now, listen. that he, he looks for the opening. He's now. not running in, time, looking to, to, right. to get okay, lucky very quickly. He's setting it up. And he's Take pinpointing his shots. He's more relaxed okay. and, and took Don't Pinnell down it. to the closing seconds of the first and put him good. down on the campus. Yeah, look at him like here in this first round. Rockman kept the pressure on. He stayed in the face What's of Pinnell, made I'm Pinnell work without yeah, getting tagged yeah. with any big shots yeah. from Steve and then started clubbing his shots. And there is the oh. right hand that put Pinnell down to the canvas. Tim Pinnell even shaking his head no while he was staying on the canvas. Here's another look at that same knockdown. Look at the right hands from Rockman. He says that is his best punch. He is naturally right-handed. Also has a terrific left hook. A good combination from Haseem Rockman. That's why they call him the Rock. He had rocks in those fists. I thought it was because of his name. Oh, yeah, tell him that. <laughs> and a standing eight? No. Knocked down because uh, Pinnell was uh, saved by the ropes. Rockman came in with 12 hey, knockouts guys. in the Come first on. round, and uh, right now that Box. big right hand is rocking. And for now, just a sitting duck for Hussein. His left hand Not comes right down, down, and Rockman has found the mark. And that just kind of getting out of the way of uh, yeah. the propensity of punches. Three knockdown rule is not in effect, but you get the idea. Johnny Femia watching very closely. One more could just about do it. No, no, no. Just buying yeah, time yeah. there is Pinnell. Crowd doesn't appreciate it, but for Pinnell, it just saved him right. some seconds and giving him a chance to try to clear the cobwebs. But uh, Rockman has been scoring with the right. It appears as if it's a matter of time. Matter of seconds, perhaps. Matter of punches, missing the shots. Rodman getting, getting a little bit excited. Now he goes back to the body. When you miss the head, go downstairs. Let him go. Let him go, son. Break. Step back. Stop. Pinnell doing anything he can to stay in this fight. Just trying not to get hit, but there was a glancing blow to left hook. And Johnny Femi is going to let Five, Pinnell six, try to make it up. Seven, he didn't get hit. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, he takes the ten count. And now takes it to the ball and then does his best job of acting, trying to say, I, I didn't know it was 10. Well, Johnny Fabia could not be closer chair. to Steve Pinnell in the count than he was. No. And Pinnell goes down once in the first, three times here in the second. Turn around, Steve. And once again, stepping up. Man is knocked down. So now in the four times that he has stepped up, he has been to the canvas on 12 occasions. And finds out that sparring four years with Oliver McCall, not the prerequisite to being ready to be in with the number three heavyweight in the world in real live competition. Well, big talk coming into this fight. Steve Pinnell had an incredible amount of confidence. He wanted to pick up that number three rating off Haseem Rockman, but Rockman showed why he has that number three rating, and Steve Pinnell does not even have anywhere near that number three rating. We have a couple of more heavyweights coming up, but first, let's get the official time into the ring. Here's Mark Biro. Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, 48 seconds of the second round. The winner by knockout and still undefeated and still IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Haseem The Rock Rockman. Rockman. Rockman gathering some belts, IBF Intercontinental title. He's also USBA Heavyweight Champion. And he is working his way towards the top to get the big belt around that waist. Rockman goes to 28 and 0, 23 knockouts, and uh, working up a little bit of a sweat in complete control throughout, and doesn't allow this one to go to the scorecard. How do you have it scored, by the way, before it was stopped? Well, I thought it was very close before they rang the first bell. We have more heavyweights coming up as Rockman straps the belt over his one over the shoulder, one around the waist. This is David Bostas, an undefeated heavyweight.
from San Bernardino, California, who will be stepping in against another undefeated heavy in Lovey Page next.